Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I'm here to do another DVD update and video game update. This is where I just show you guys the movies and video games I bought, so let's get this started. It was a cold, cold night as 22 Tiger Dude is doing the DVD update. You never know what he is doing. But, in this DVD update, he brings Sin City. That is right. I'm black and white and I did blind buy Sin City. Now, before I bought this movie, I gotta be honest, I've actually never seen Sin City. And if you guys have been following me in my live Q&As, I mentioned that before, but I did promise I would see the original before I see the sequel, which I'll review eventually, but I finally saw Sin City. I blind bought this movie at my neighborhood Walmart for only five bucks. It was actually after I went to my advanced screening for If I Stay, so I blind bought this movie. I finally saw it, and I gotta say, wow, this movie is fucking awesome. Like, just wow. I've never read any of the graphic novels. I'm not, I'm not familiar with uh, the Sin City stuff. But this movie, just from what I saw, it was spectacular. Now that I've seen it, I'm ready to see the sequel. And I have more knowledge from the original. So yeah, Sin City, it's an awesome movie. And if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. It's got a great cast. It's directed by Robert Rodriguez and Frank Miller with Quentin Tarantino as a special guest director. This is so worth the blind buy. So yes, I own this movie and I don't regret blind buying it. Now for the next movie. That's right, I changed my shirt. Now, why am I wearing this shirt? Well, it's because, ladies and gentlemen, whether you hate or like this film, I do happen to own the amazing Spider-Man 2. So yes, I'm actually one of those people that actually really enjoyed the amazing Spider-Man 2. I know this is very controversial. A lot of people hate this movie, but there's a lot of people that love this movie. I like this movie. Now, I don't think it's a perfect movie. It certainly has its faults, but not to the point where I could hate this film. This film was just so much fun to watch. And even if it's not as good as the original Amazing Spider-Man, I still thought it was a well-made movie. Andrew Garfield is a great Peter Parker. Emma Stone is really good as Gwen Stacy. The two of them have very good chemistry. The action sequences are spectacular. The score by Hans Zimmer in this movie is amazing. And I can't wait for the third one. Although we might have to wait until 2017 or 2018 for the third one. So it's going to be a long time from what I'm reading. But The Amazing Spider-Man 2, it didn't disappoint me. It was good. I know it's a controversial movie, but it's just my opinion. I like the movie. I got it at Walmart for only like 15 bucks. We're doing a sequel. That's what we do in Hollywood. Prom. And that's why I bought Muppets Most Wanted. We're doing a sequel. Okay, I'm not going to do that anymore. But yes, I got Muppets Most Wanted. And I actually ordered this movie from Disney Movie Club. So it arrived in my mail. It's just a really fun movie that makes you feel like a kid at heart. The actors do a really good job. It's really fun to see the Muppets in here. It's just as fun to watch as the original. Although it is too bad that Jason Segel and Amy Adams didn't return to do this one. Well, well, yeah, they don't return this one, but this is a very fun movie. The Muppets are always going to be one of those things that come near and dear to my heart. I'm always going to have a soft spot for the Muppets right here. And of course, all the celebrity cameos in here are just so much fun to watch. I ordered it from Disney Movie Club for like $20. What can I say if you like the Muppets? Buy this movie. Now we're going to get into video games. The first one I'm going to go ahead and show is actually for my dear Spongebob fans, it's Spongebob's Robotic Revenge. 
That is right. I have the game finally. It's the game I've been wanting to play for a while. And I know it's the game you guys want me to review. So for that reason, I'm not going to say my thoughts on this one because I am going to do a video game review on it. But all I can say is that I did finish playing the video game. I only bought it for like 13 bucks. Yeah, 13 bucks for this game right here. I love playing Spongebob video games, and I know you guys have been very supportive with the Spongebob video game reviews I have done. All I can really say about this video game without giving any thoughts on it, I do love the graphics. It is a shooting game, so it is different from other Spongebob games. And that's as far as I'm going to go in terms of telling you my thoughts on this game. Keep a lookout for my video game review for this game because I am going to review it for those that are interested in my video game review for it. But yeah, I've already finished playing this game and I can't wait to review it. And the last game I got is Ratchet & Clank Into the Nexus. Now... I'm going to let you guys off with a little secret. Come closer. Very close. Very, very close. Okay, that's getting too fucking close now. Okay. Wow. Wow, that was awkward. Anyways. I've never played a Ratchet & Clank game before. That's right. I've heard of the characters a bunch of the times, but I've actually never played the games. And I know there's going to be a movie coming out in 2016, if I'm not mistaken. So, because of how popular this game franchise is, and I do want to start getting into these games, I will buy more in the future. But I figured buying Ratchet & Clank into the Nexus would be a great start. And oh my gosh, I am ashamed of how much I really missed out because... All I can say is that this game is awesome. My brother loves playing this game. I love playing this game. It's a very nice introduction to Ratchet and Clank for me. And yeah, it's just really cool, beautiful graphics, locations. In a way, kind of gives me that feel to the Jack franchise because one of my favorite video game franchises is actually the Jack video games. And in the way, this game kind of gives me the feel of that in a great way. So. Ratchet and Clank into the Nexus. My first time ever playing a Ratchet and Clank video game, which I know sounds bizarre. I could picture you guys just going insane about how I've never played a Ratchet and Clank game before, but here I am finally playing it. I will buy more of these games in the future so I could get caught up. I could have more knowledge of this. And yeah, and I got it at GameStop for like 16 bucks, which honestly wasn't a bad deal at all. That is all for my DVD video game update. Tell me your thoughts on Sin City, The Amazing Spider-Man 2, Muppets Most Wanted, SpongeBob's Revo Plankton's Robotic Revenge, and Ratchet and & Clank into the Nexus. Subscribe, like, and share. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You guys are awesome. This is 22 Tiger Dude, and don't forget that I will always have... TAGA POWER!